which dog clippers are the best. I'm Rebecca, a dog groomer for over about 30 years. Over the years I've tried all different dog clippers and what I'm going to do in this video is go through five different sets of dog clippers which I've used over the years and well you can decide which will suit you better and I'll tell you which ones I prefer and go through each one and tell you the pros and cons really of them. I've not got any Apart from the cheapo clippers, I've not got the other clippers here because I'm sat at home and they're in my dog grooming salon, which is down the road. So I'll start with the cheap, uh, the most expensive and work it down. I'm going to be talking about the Double K, Asculap, Oster, Andy's dog clippers and the Amazon cheapo dog clippers. So if we start with the Double K, I'll bring a photo up. I had these about 15 years ago. Now these are to me the industrial dog groomers, dog clippers, ideal for vets as well. They look dead old fashioned, but yeah, if you want to get through some dogs, convey about style, these will do it. You've got that big blue, well it's a transformer, so you're going to plug them in. You've got the transformer and you've got a big thick cable to your clippers. You're going to take standard blades like your wall, your Oster, Andis, as I call standard blades, your 5, your 7, your 10, your 15, 4. So you've got to put your attachment comb on if you've got a 10. Um, and then they've, what they've got is from 1 to 10 speed, basically. So if you've got big old English thick coated dog, you're going to whack it up to 10 and clip them off. They do work really, really well, but what I found with these. You can use them on any sink, any breed. So if you've got a little Yorkie, you're just going to turn it down to like four. You've got a bit more control with the clippers. But what I found, these are the cheap Amazon ones. If this is your double K clipper, you've got a big steel rod coming off the end of it. And then your electric, you know, your, it's going to go to the transformer, that cable. But they were stiff. If you've got another set of clippers, you can move your wrist around with these clippers. But those clippers I found were awkward. That's the only word to describe them. They were very, very good, but awkward. Okay, £462 they are now. I actually sold mine about 10 years ago on eBay. I think I bought them for 350 and I sold them for about 220 So they do hold, hold the value, those clippers. So then we've got the Asculap. Asculap about 350 quid. They're not talked about that much, Asculap dog clippers. My mum had these years ago because she's also a dog groomer. Not so much now, she doesn't do that many dogs. And she hasn't got the Asculap, but she started off with the Asculap dog clippers and they are lovely, lovely clippers. And I say not many people rave about them, probably because of the price, but they are a cool running clipper. The only downfall with the Asculap dog clippers is that Asculap have their own blade system. Completely different number two, as I call the standard dog clipper blades. So you've got your different numbered system, but you can't buy a cheaper equivalent Asculap blade for the clippers. It's the only downfall with them, but they are very, very, very good dog clippers. I think the cordless are nearly 500 quid. Then we've got the Oster. Oster A5 Golden. I always laugh at these. I'll bring the old fashioned photo up because these to me are like the original dog groomers. Dog clippers. They're funny, aren't they? Just a photo of that box says I'm, I'm 20,000 years old. Now, I'd, uh, <laughs> these are the dog clippers. They were my first ever dog clippers. I don't know why I bought them. I think I just thought, well, they're like the original dog clippers. The thing with these clippers, they do work. They'll take your standard blades. Your five, your ten, all the rest of them, you know, your wall, your oster, and his dog clipper blades. But they're horrible. They're horrible to hold. They're really circular, the barrel. They've got them grooves all the way round. And what I found with these, the longer you use them, the hotter they get. And they get burning hot. They're, no joke, I used to have to wash, run my hand under cold water to cool it down from using these clippers. But... These Oster A5 Golden, to me, are the original Vets dog clippers. You go to the Vets and they've all got a set of these uh, Oster A5s. Whether it's the Burgundy Twin Speed set or the Black A5, they are the Vets dog clippers to me. You think 
So, like, you go and take your dog for an operation and it comes out with part of its coat missing, or its skin. I put 50 blade on, which is a surgical blade, and I've used the 85 Goldens, if they hadn't had them double Ks. But why are they going to spend £462 when they can get a set of these for about 150 quid and just plug them in and clip the dog? They're not really going to be using them like a dog groomer does all day long, so they're not going to burn red hot. But they're just not a comfortable blade. But the vet really doesn't have to use them. They're for the vet nurse, aren't they? If you're going to have your dog put to sleep or have an operation and they'll clip a line up the dog or the cat's arm or whatever animal it is and they use the A5 Golden so then they can get the needle in, find the vein. So to me, they are the original vets. Dog grooming, dog clippers. Then we've got the Andis dog clippers. A lot of dog groomers will use the Andis dog clippers, about £145, £150 for a set of twin speed Andis clippers. I've got five sets of Andis dog clippers, three twin speed, a single speed, and then I've got another little set, which are almost a bit toy-like, they're really, really light. I'll see if I can find a picture of those. Confetti colour, they came in all different colours, got them a few years ago. But yeah, they're absolutely fine. They're nice to hold, do the job, take the standard blades. For me, well, five sets says it all, doesn't it? They work really well for me, the Andis. Years ago, I think I had like the first Andis cordless clippers, which were like the black twin speed. But half the clipper would come off, which was the battery. I had two battery packs. But what I found, I think it was probably because people didn't charge the battery up properly. You got that the batteries would only last about 10 minutes. So you're about finishing the dog and the battery's dying, switch it over and sometimes you just didn't have enough battery power and then it'll take so long to charge the battery up because they do the Andis Pulse ZR now, which are about 300 odd quid for cordless, but it, it's always put me off cordless clippers. I prefer to plug them in and have the power the same the, the whole time. So that's the Andis, Andis dog clippers. Then I've got these cheaper Amazon ones. I think these cost me about 25 quid. The Deadlight, these are going to cordless. When I bought these, I got some thinning scissors, some straight scissors. I've never actually used these scissors. Nail clippers, I think I got a nail file as well. Now, what do you expect for 25 quid? They're not actually bad. Little clippers, quite quiet as well. You did get attachment combs, but I don't use attachment combs. They're in the bin. Now, if you've got a dog or you're wanting to clip with these, that is the equivalent to a 10 or a 15 blade, really, on your Andis Oster double K clippers. So what's going to happen is it's going to take it real short. If you put the attachment comb on, say you've got a cockapoo or a thick coated dog, if it's got no knots whatsoever, you can put your attachment comb on, go through, and you can get a longer cut. But if you've got knots, you're going to go through with the attachment blade on, comb, and it's going to fly off. And you're going to jab it in and make a big hole. <laughs> so that's what happens with that kind of attachment comb, what's just a cheapo thing. I could trim a setter with these if I had no cliff dog clippers whatsoever, and all I had were these, yeah. I could do do it with these. With these and these, I have to have a go. These thinners. I haven't even tried these yet. Probably could. But you know what I think these are, it should be labelled as? Fussy cat clippers. These are perfect for cats. Small, light, pretty quiet. I don't do cat grooming. I absolutely love cats. But I don't groom them. <laughs> no. I would get the psycho pusses if I uh, advertise dog groom, uh, cat grooming. I do actually get quite a lot of inquiries for cat grooming. And sometimes I think, oh my god, yeah, shall I take it? But you can guarantee I'd have the psycho cat what goes up in the air. And also, I love cats that much, you know, when they've got the big fluffy faces. I can't stand it when they've got no hair on the body and then they've le left the head. I don't want to do that to cats. But yeah, they are. They would work perfect for your little cat if you want to trim your cat, I think. 
So would all the other clippers, but what you find with cats, so don't take it from me, if you've got your little pet cat what's all matted up, be very, very careful because cats have got really thin skin. I have clipped a few cats in the past. Just pet cats, what you did clipping, and they go, psycho. It's not what I do, it was just the kind of cat. Because usually find they've got it in such a state, the back end is all matted, and they've got little mats all over them. <laughs> you need someone to pin them down and then try and get it off. But yeah, what I find is the skin is really, really thin. I've never nicked a cat, but it's so easy. I don't want to do that to cats. I'd love to groom cats all day, but you do really need two people. Unless you're going to get really well-behaved cats, which I can guarantee you I won't get them. I'll get a vicious one, so you can get them. <laughs> like spaceman helmets for them, so they can't bite you, but they can still swipe out at you, can't they? So yeah, I'd label them as cat, cat grooming clippers. So to summarise, the double Ks are well expensive, but they're going to, you know, if you want to convey about your dogs, yeah, if you don't mind it being a bit awkward, Ask your lap. If you've got plenty of money and want some nice clippers, yeah, definitely. Oster 5 Golden, they're for the vets, I think. They'll do the job. I just couldn't get on with them. When I bought my grooming salon 20 years ago, Kennels Catherine Grooming, they had three sets of A5 Golden. They went in the bin and were replaced with the Andis. I didn't even try and put them on eBay. Bye bye. <laughs> We've got the Andis dog clippers, which to me are oh, dog clippers, the Andis. And then these, these would trim a dog. With well, a trim a cat, definitely. So there you go, that's my little bit of information for you about dog clippers.